Hello and welcome to this special news feature on the recently held second film festival of Nagaland coming to you on Nagaland and Northeast Cornerstone TV and ECTV News from our studios at Kohima, Nagaland. I am Sekule Nene. We carry this news from Nagaland via our 24-7 TV website at http tv.in and our Northeast Cornerstone TV YouTube channel. The second Nagaland Film Festival was held at Capital Convention Center, Kohima, on 31st October and 1st November 2019. The two-day second edition of Nagaland Film Festival, organized by Directorate of Information and Public Relations, Nagaland in collaboration with Film Association of Nagaland, FAN. Earlier, on 13th October at the inauguration, Toshi Wangtang advisor say the film industry will help the Northeast states in connecting with the mainland as well as the rest of the world. President of Film Association of Nagaland, FAN, Kivini Shohei implied the main objective of FAN, which is to help the filmmakers grow skillfully and bring a consciousness of cinema among the people. As many as 28 films were entered at the competition and another 28 in the non-competition category of the film festival. The 50-plus members of the Film Association of Nagaland in their maiden venture of hosting this grand second film festival of Nagaland set up a national class ambience and atmosphere highly appreciated by the hundreds of visitors who thronged into the venue. Filmmakers with their films from Arunachal Pradesh, Assam, Manipur, Sikkim, Mizoram, Tripura and Meghalaya attended and screened their films to an appreciative audience. Good morning, how are you doing? 
good morning, how are you doing? It was, it was a very Bollywood style. And we're like, no, 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 this is an independent film, you just keep it real, just say good morning, you know, just very real. So things like that, we had to grapple with a whole bunch of these difficult things, you know, because that's, and they're not used to it, you know, any, any line that you give them, it would be very over the top, you know. So, tea is served, you know, <laughs> no, just say tea is served, you know, so, things like that. So the casting process took a long time, and then, uh, but once we kind of had a sense of, uh, you know, the main um, actors being in place, etc., then we started the pre-production. Uh, but it's very, very stressful. There's a lovely line by Veera Nair, and she says, "If you, if we don't tell our own stories, nobody else will." Where is the release date in India? Uh, I don't know, but they want to release it soon. So maybe in a in a month, if we're lucky. We're trying to crack the northeastern conundrum, if you like, um, because there are only apparently 12 theatres or something, and 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 that does not make that simply doesn't make financial sense for these guys in, in Bombay. So they're trying to figure out ways and means by which to uh, you know sort of still have the film playing in the northeast. Uh, and yet have the body. You know, for three years we worked on this film, like I particularly worked on the film and uh, living it day in and day out. Um, had no idea how it was. I knew some Northeastern people in Delhi, Bombay would be interested because they've had similar experiences, etc. But I had no idea as to how it was going to be received. Uh, and then on the day that we brought out the trailer, like within 24 hours, I got like all these. I, it had been downloaded and these viral, you know, the, the video had just been downloaded and just sent out amongst people. And uh, I got from like a, a friend of mine who was in a village somewhere in Nagaland, but also so many other places, suddenly it got viral. It felt very gratifying. Uh, when you tell a story, you want to tell a story because there are some stories that are there inside you that you want to tell, you know. The most important is still the heart and you wanting to tell a story. Then you worry about these other things. Like I want to like know your struggle with the script and then like uh, how like what was the process of convincing them? It's tough. That's why I'm saying it's a tough journey. You know, it's not easy. This struggle, it, it on the outside it might seem glamorous or, or, or something. It's not. It's it's difficult. Even the title Akuni. What makes you think somebody from Bombay would would think that's an interesting title? And I was insistent that it be called Akuni. So that's one battle. Then I'm saying the fact that they wanted to make it very commercial, which was uh, which was not as was decided in the beginning. But midway through, uh, the company suddenly had a you know change of heart, whatever, and they said no, you know we have to try and make it more commercial, etc. So there was an attempt to dumb down the script and make uh, you know and make it a lot more funny and a lot less real, in other words. You know, and that again was a huge, huge problem. So I'm just right now what I'm doing is I'm I'm just telling you, you don't know what it is like to go through because suddenly one day you're sitting there and they say, you know, this is a you know, we're gonna make it funny here, funny here, funny here, funny here. And then I'm like, what what about the people that are going through it? Because here I am trying to also tell the, a, a very real and honest story about Northeasterners and what they go through in Delhi and Bombay. And if you're gonna make it all funny, then that seriousness is lost, in which case then my the, the, the raison d'etre of the film, as far as I was concerned, was was you know was going to be gone. Um, and and then having to tackle that head on with you know people across the table, you know several uh, you know executives from the company and you know who were used to all these really you know wheeling uh, uh, and dealing and so on. And here you know I was the artist who. Obviously, speaks more from the heart. So there's a lot of convincing. There's a lot of back and forth. There's a lot of battling. You have to stay calm. You have to not lose your nerves, and you know all that. It's 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 very very tough. It's uh, you know, and the stress that comes with it is is enormous, and it's not something that uh, you know uh, you wish upon anyone. But but the, you know uh, you've got to do what you've got to do.
I found that possibly document would be the language which would replace creative literature. And that is what is the first inspiration I had. And when I was traveling abroad, I have seen that uh, how a huge community are working together, sharing knowledge and giving access, layered access to that knowledge system called documentary. And in India, there's no foundation, no money, not even a single slot in national and regional television. It was quite, quite a challenging journey for me. Somehow I got a chance to actually pitch in uh, DMZ, which is demilitarized zone South, uh, South Korea. So I pitched for the third time in South Korea and luckily I got the you know, support from DMZ. Yeah. Nagaland Chief Secretary Tam Jin Toy graced the valedictory program as special guest at Capital Convention Center, Kohima. Tam Jin Toy said that the state government has a very important role to play in the growth of filmmaking in the state. Starting from now, he said that the government will play more active role of a facilitator to support local filmmakers. He went on to add that the government of Nagaland will facilitate in having at least one theatre. However, such dream cannot happen without the support of Film Association of Nagaland FAN and Information of Public Relations and Information, he added. One of the panelists, Nilot Pal Majumdar, who is also the founder and president of Documentary Resource Initiative, said, The primary responsibility is to have a theatre. At least two film theatres is required to support local filmmakers. If unable to screen local films at proper ambience, it will not encourage the filmmaking in Nagaland. He suggested that a sort of foundation in the form of fund or grants should be initiated to support the filmmakers. Meanwhile, a special mention was made to one of the documentary Strength in Diversity, produced by Chante Kamungan. What goes to a film from Nagaland? It's called Strength in Diversity. Chante Kamungan for Strength in Diversity. Importance of you know, preserving our traditional indigenous plants <coughs> as a you know, biological resource. And that kind of stories are very important to capture in a region like Northeast India. And now the main award in non-fiction category, that film is called Nawa, the Spirit of Ate from Manipur. Non-fiction category winner. And the prize money is 50,000 rupees. Oh, wow, wow. So nice part. to fade in from Assam. This is a film about you know young filmmakers making films. So it actually captures the way many of us start making films with a lot of emotion, a lot of struggle and a lot of passion and also a lot of drama within filmmaking itself. With that, we come to the end of this special news feature on the second film festival of Nagaland from Nagaland and Northeast Coniston TV, News from Kohima, Nagaland. See you later in our usual monthly news segment.